Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. I'm just, I'm just recording, letting it rip per usual. Um, very exciting day today. Um, J. B. Owen, J. B. Owen. If you listened to yesterday's episode, J. B. Owen set up the appointment. Very exciting, and then some emails uh, were passed back and forth. Or actually, she introduced me to some awesome people. So super excited about that. Thank you, J. B. Um, and this really, this episode is just to talk about some successes, some momentum. Um, just feeling like I'm on the right track that, um, you know, trusting in God, taking the next indicated step, not worrying until it's time to worry. Many of the things that I've talked about over the past uh, number of episodes that all these things are um, paying off. And I also had the very, very clear awareness that, um, you know, as I'm reading in A Course in Miracles, it's talking about um, about not feeling special, like this need to feel special, more special, um, and comparing ourselves to others ultimately is the cause of massive discontentment and the source of, as um, A Course in Miracles likes to say, a cause of separation and sin and feeling that people are sinful and guilty and that I am sinful and guilty. Those, the, the sin part may feel a little dogmatic, but if you can separate out the dogmaticness of it and, and just think of, hey, yes, that, you know, this needing to feel special, we start judging. And I'll speak for me. It very much resonates with me. I'm, I'm still trying to, you know, <laughs> learn how to eloquently talk about it. But I know over the years, definitely part of my path is the awareness of this special. Like I'm not special. Right. And I am special in that everyone's special sort of a way. And, and when I need to be better than more special seen as, as something greater than somebody else, if that makes sense, uh, perhaps, you know, yeah, if I want, I want to sound better, I'm, I do lots of zoom stuff where I get to talk and I want to sound best. I want to be the wisest. I want to be uh, pontificate <laughs> this <laughs> the bestest. <laughs> and I'm working hard to not have that be an influence. Um, because if I'm not sharing, I can ultimately start judging what other people are sharing. And I, I don't mean to go on and on about this, but because I do want to talk about my successes. It'll all come together, I swear. Um, but, you know, as I'm interviewing speakers and they're enjoying it and they're having fun and they're excited about the project and, and how, you know, you know, the Tools for a Good Life Summit can be a source of good and 
hope and healing and growth and transformation, you know, for people. Um, there's sort of this pridefulness that can set in. And I was really aware today, wow, like a couple things. First off, that if I can somehow see that we're all doing it, and that might sound weird, but truly I was like, okay, how do I see it as this is not me or of me? This is, this is all, all of us creating this. And to get a, a glimpse of that is very powerful because I'm getting it. Um, but also, I, a couple of the speakers recently, our interactions were, we were helping each other. We were, it was growth moments just in the interviews. And that was so powerful. Um, I did two interviews today and, and uh, you know, one of the speakers said, hey, that was, you know, in, in our discussions and some of our chats offline as well, just she was like, hey, this is very powerful for me. Here's a growth moment. No matter what, you've helped me. And, um, and so that was awesome, right? Like the path of this is awesome. And then I really was thinking, I'm going to reiterate and I've done a couple of episodes about this as I was, as I've been interviewing people just for the podcast, it's, it's been driving the humanness home to me. I say that in a good way, like, oh my gosh, I'm human. We're all human. This illusion of separation is not real. Like it's just the love that I'm having for people and, and sort of this broad love, like uh, not like Hollywood love, but like, I, I'm going to say it, a God love for people. And now as I've interviewed seven or eight people for the summit, um, as of this, by the time this is published, I'll have interviewed perhaps 30 people. <laughs> so I'm well on track, but Actually, at the time of publishing this episode, I have 20 speakers, all 20 speakers confirmed, all 20 of the interviews done, and I have um, stopped adding new speakers and have actually uh, told some speakers they would have to wait for the next one. I, it was very clear to me, I am growing so much, this illusion that it's for other people when perhaps it's for me, not selfishly, but for my own growth trajectory. So anyhow, thank you for that little diversion. Um, but JB scheduled her interview, Robert Drysdale, Jujillian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, master, or what have you, like a uh, competitor did very well, won lots of belts, world champion. Um, I can't wait to interview. He set up his interview. And so Robert Drysdale, I am nervous as can be and excited. And um, I think it's going to be so powerful. I've got some friends that have turned to Brazilian jiu-jitsu or judo, same sort of a thing in their you know, their forties and it's been incredibly powerful for them. And so I can't wait to talk all about it with, um, Robert Drysdale. And then lastly, um, Michael Sandler, if you've seen Google, Michael Sandler, um, of course I'm not prepared for this. But Michael Sandler is really cool, dude. That has an amazing, a fun podcast, um, YouTube channel. This guy is just channeling some, some, some amazingness. Um, and he's got a new book out uh, about journaling. So we're going to chat 
about journaling. Well, hopefully we'll see. He he's extremely busy because he's having a ton of success and fun with his his uh, his podcast and his website, and he's got this awesome following. And this guy is a character and just having fun with life, obviously. And uh, and so. Um, we'd passed a couple of emails and I'd thought he'd dropped off the map, shall we say, but his assistant emailed me and said, Hey, Michael's super busy, but let's try and sort out a time if we can, no guarantees. So that's what the, his assistant said to me, no guarantees, but we'll make this happen if we can. So that was an awesome email to get just, it's so fun. Unfortunately, Michael Sandler and I were never able to hammer out a time. Uh, I was not able to schedule him with his assistant. So hopefully Michael Sandler will be on the Tools for a Good Life Summit round two. But it was fun trying to figure it out with him. And lastly, I'll end with this. Um, I've very much been, you know, as it's like dating or it's like sales. When you get started, you can have, I can have so much vested in the response from some person or so much vested in results from activities over here. And that if I focus on, on the outcome and waiting for that outcome, I find that it's much better to continue with actions with new actions or more of the same actions, right? So more invites, more responding back to other people, more finding new people to invite, like keep the actions and the more action creates action, I think is the way to say it. But so it's like, as long as I put the action in the effort in the results for will come and I don't know where from. And I've found that to be true again over the past couple of days as I keep <laughs> trying not to be distract, distracted, waiting for responses. Keep at it. Anyway, sort of a ramble, sort of super fun. I have great momentum. Um, yeah, it's coming together. And uh, the journey is the journey is pure. Love to all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.